Come on, game! Come on, ladies! In 2015, I was given six weeks to live. Ten months later, my best friend and dog Maggie died in hospital without me with her. Because I couldn't be with her, at the end I decided that um, in her memory I would try to be with other animals as they took their final steps so that they wouldn't have to spend the last part of their life on their own. I now care for two animals in the hospice and around 90 uh, rescued farmed animals um, who all live here at the Maggie Fleming Animal Hospice and the Carras Sanctuary for Farmed Animals. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all very well behaved. <laughs> Do you think it's funny? <laughs> go and have a sleep then if you're tired, on you go. He'll, he'll sort of jump on top of the, you know, he, he jumps on top of the sheep and the chickens and she's quite often got a chicken perched on her. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's like getting annoyed at you. Oh! <laughs> <Put it> back. <laughs> These boys spent the first few weeks of their lives in my kitchen. Don't recommend it. <laughs> They're almost a year old now. They were saved from being killed last Christmas. And as you can see, <laughs> they've been doing their landscaping in here. Hey, happy Bob. So Angela, Sandra and Amber and Charles were all rescued from being Christmas turkeys. Charles doesn't get on too well with other folk. I don't think anybody has ever met Charles and actually likes him, but there we go. A lot of the hens that we've got came from factory farms. After 18 months, they're at the end of their lives. Hey boys! It is a lot of work. It's half past, <laughs> it's half past seven until usually midnight most days especially as I have some pretty bad days myself. So I've got three autoimmune diseases. I have frequent shutdowns, um, my intestines block, they are so damaged that there's actually holes in them in quite a few places. It's incredibly painful day to day. It makes me very tired, very fatigued. What choice is there but to just get on with it and make the most of life? I can't change that I've got these things, but I can change how I cope with them and how I deal with them. And I just am fairly determined to not let them stop me. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I've got to deal with the reality. I know that when they come here they're going to die um, and I've just sort of changed how I view death. It's, it's still devastating when they die, absolutely it is. So if I can do something that makes their last few steps a little bit better then that's, that's what I want to do and that's what helps me cope is knowing that I've done everything that I can to make that time as good as it possibly can be for them. When you do this kind of work you realise it doesn't matter if you're holding a chicken or a sheep or a dog. At the end we all kind of just want the same thing. Come on everybody! Come on everybody! Hey Gimli! 